Welcome back, Andrew, guys, and today uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, the upcoming big game mode uh, that's coming the end of July in the second part of the Onslaught update. So yesterday we did talk about the new weapons. These are coming in a couple of days, but this new game mode uh, is coming end of July. And obviously uh, I cannot go into the full details of what this is gonna do, well, and what, how things are gonna work out with different systems and such. Uh, but we can uh, definitely go over what already NG has mentioned in their dev video uh, and just sort of like see how things are working out. Uh, essentially, this new last stand game mode is um, a way for you to fight uh, walkers while also competing with other players as they're doing the same thing. It's a very similar um, uh, mode to the Our World's Survivor Master Series or SMS where it's more like a tournament where we have leaderboards you have to kill walkers, get points, you have score multipliers, you have rewards uh, based on rankings and honestly it's not that different, it's literally like the normal stand version though. So essentially you pick up three survivors and you go into this map, you the first couple of turns you have uh, to basically no walkers on the map, you can just move your survivors to position them and then when walkers are coming there's gonna be these arrows so every wave you're gonna see where the walkers are coming from just to make sure you're not next to that uh, place so you don't get surrounded by walkers uh, and essentially you just have to last as much as you can um, uh, and, and keep killing walkers. Now, uh, it's, it's, it's honestly not that uh, hard. Uh, how does the scoring work? Now, there's um, a few ways, but obviously I think and Johnny mentioned one of them is the basically when you kill walkers and the more walkers you kill, you start building up this uh, uh, multiplier. Score multiplier means you can get more points by keep killing walkers. Uh, obviously, you do have to kill walkers every turn for that. Uh, but yeah, it's just different formulas there right now. We're not gonna go too deep into it because we also really can't. Uh, okay, when it comes to the rewards of it, uh, essentially there's two types of rewards. There is rewards uh, for the waves you've reached at the end of every attempt. So sort of like if you reach wave five, you get this reward. You know, if you reach if you, if you reach wave ten, you're gonna get this reward. And and then there's also another type of reward, and this is based on the position of the leaderboard where you are or the leaderboard ranking. Uh, so to speak, uh, but there's gonna be more information on that also on what sort of rewards you can get and then uh, what sort of positions you get which rewards if there's more than one leaderboard all this information is gonna be revealed later uh, before the update comes out in a month so obviously uh, I don't have much uh, uh, screens and footage to show you guys but this is sort of how things are right now we're only giving a small sneak peek of what's to come there is a bunch of things still to be covered with this game mode uh, and now one of these big things with this um, new game mode um, are basically uh, new units, they call them the support units and these are units which can uh, help you in, in the last stand and to be able to uh, basically provide you unique abilities uh, by using special uh, sort of heroes, I call them in a way uh, and you can get those units uh, from, their tokens can be, uh, you can get them from um, leaderboards uh, right now, I mean from the ranking of the last stand leaderboard as a reward and uh, you can get uh, and upgrade them by using their tokens and to get them, make them more powerful, so to say. Um, so, by the way, in order to use one of these units, your server needs to have an action point uh, in the um, in the in the battle in the, in the last stand attempt. Uh, okay, so let's talk about these uh, units. So the first one is Shiva. And uh, finally, I think a lot of people wanted to see Shiva, although because she's a support, she's it's not, it's not like a normal unit you can play like a hero, it's just a support. Um, and she has, a, I think she has the best skill for this game mode, and that is that uh, she basically, when you use her ability, she does damage um, on every visible walker on the map, and that damage is basically a percentage of all the walkers' health and then a percentage of the weapon's damage um, that you have uh, on that survivor. So essentially it's it's pretty nice boost to the damage. Uh, you can quite damage them quite a lot because it's a percentage, it's a fixed amount of damage. So the walker has more health, then that's gonna be that percentage is gonna take more health out of it. Uh, so this is really nice, really Shiva, okay. Uh, next up is Dog. Uh, all these characters are already playable in our world, so they're bringing the Nomad's Land. I like it in this sort of way. Um, Dog is a really cool hero because, no, I mean support, because he can basically inflict the cripple status to uh, the closest visible walkers or the couple of visible walkers, it doesn't say, it just says X, um, and it prioritizes special walkers, so walkers like tank walkers, spiky walkers, um, what's another, grenades, all these um, 
special walker so you can get prioritized by dog's ability. And finally we have the Whisper Mask which works in the same way Beta's leader trait worked and that is that if you use it you can herd an X amount of walkers uh, in a certain dif uh, di uh, distance from your survivor and that means that they won't attack you on the next turn. Uh, so this is not that bad guys, honestly I want to see how this mode is going to look out now if the rewards are good. I've already heard some negative feedback about it because people were like well we have the distance, we have challenges, we have guild wars and now you bring us another game mode that we need to compete because they're leaderboards. Like, yeah, we'll have to wait and see on that, honestly. It's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, but I feel like a lot of people are gonna enjoy this because it's a new way to use new sort of units to make new strategies. Uh, I hope that they do some sort of like, okay, this time in this mode, you can now, for this amount of time, you can only use hunters and shooters, but maybe next time you can do like assaults and uh, scouts or like mix of classes. So essentially you don't, people don't find like one mate of survivors and then just keep using that to get the most uh, points and be on top of the leaderboard. You know what I'm saying? Um, but essentially this is it for this game mode for right now. There's still a lot of information which uh, obviously I can't share with you right now, but yeah, what do you guys think about this? I'm really excited uh, for this uh, update. Obviously it's coming in a month. We're gonna have more videos coming up, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys all in my next video.